Hi, I'm Andy from Element 14 and today I'm here to show you how to use the Raspberry Pi camera. I'm assuming that the first thing you need to do is get an operating system with all the, so all the software and drivers to make the camera work and there are two ways of doing that. The first of which you can download an image directly from the Element 14 website which has got all the drivers and software pre-installed for you. The second way is if you've already got an existing operating system there are some detailed instructions on the website so you can download um, all the drivers and software yourself and actually install and compile it. Um, but once, you've, once you've got a pre-built operating system there are some very simple ways of actually showing you how to use the, the camera software. Um, the first thing we need to do is fire up a command called slash opt slash vc slash raspicam that's the main camera program and I'm going to use a minus o option to create an output file called test.jpg and if I execute it what we can see is the camera, the, the image from the camera is displayed on the screen and it will show for five seconds by default and once five seconds is up it will actually take a picture um, and that will be saved on the file system so if I do a um, run the command you can actually see it's taken the image, it's taken is about two meg in size um, there are some nice um, options we can use from the camera itself um, there's a minus TL option and if I set a minus TL for 30 milliseconds, what it will do is it will actually take um, lots of time-lapse photographs. So if you use, what we need to do with this is um, change the file name so we have, we have a test percentage D, which will, will substitute the percentage D with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Which will then effectively name each of the files from the time-lapse photography and you'll get multiple images. Um, and what this will do is it will actually take the camera will display um, and what it's actually doing is every 30 milliseconds it will now take an extra image and that will continue taking photographs for as long as the, uh, the software is running. To quit this you just need to use a control C to take it back out and if I do an LS minus L you can now see there are lots and lots of photographs already taken ready to use. Um, thank you for watching and check out the rest of our videos on element14.com